The Surface Pro X versus the Pixelbook Go and on first glance you may think that these are very different devices and made for very different people. However, we've had them both for a while now and we are starting to see the similarities. The more we looked into, the more we came to the conclusion that there's a lot of stuff both devices can do but also a lot of stuff both devices cannot do. Let us know which device you are using. Do you use any other device for your daily work, creativity, whatever it is? Let us know in the comments below because we are super interested and if you're new to our channel consider subscribing for more awesome content the microsoft surface pro x is really showing us the future of microsoft and where the company is trying to head and of course this is if all goes well with the device and the updates for that my unit comes with 128 gigabyte ssd storage 8 gigabyte of ram i would highly advise to get a 16 gigabyte of ram to get that really superior experience and it is an ARM processor. Microsoft calls it the SQ1. It has a 13 inch screen and a two by three aspect ratio. In terms of weight, it is really lightweight and it's really designed for people on the go and weighs 1.68 pounds, which is really meant to be to put it in a bike, go to your airport and go to meetings left, right and center. The screen itself has a resolution of 2880 by 1920 and in terms of ports, it has two USB-C ports, one Surface Connect port. Theoretically, you could charge your device for all the ports. The USB-C ports are there to not just charge your device, but also put plug in monitors. We can plug in two 4K monitors, but no issues. Battery life itself is 13 hours. That's rated via Microsoft. We come to this a bit later. The 5 megapixel front facing camera and 10 megapixel rear facing cameras are actually doing a really, really good job for video conferencing. And we also opted for the pen and the keyboard. We kind of believe really that makes it um, complete, the package complete with the Surface Pro X. But it is also a bit pricey when you add on all these components. In terms of mobility, it has a SIM card slot and we put our LTE, our SIM card LTE card in there works fine on the go no complaints here when it comes to the pixelbook go it is really kind of a love hate relationship and i have to say i never had a pixelbook before and i come to love it and it is really pricey for what it is right you have to bear that in mind but when you compare that to the surface pro x it's almost the same price my unit comes with a 16 gigabyte ram 256 gigabyte storage the intel i7 8th generation in terms of graphic card is uh, Amber Lake GT2, nothing spectacular here. In terms of screen, we opted for the 4K screen. Yes, color's crazy, 3840 by 2160. It is reflective, just like as the Surface Pro X screen is, but it is beautiful, I have to say. Stunning colors, accuracy, I just, I really, really love it. And then in terms of weight, it is really designed as a name really gives it away, Pixelbook Go, right? You, on the go, you take it to your meetings, you take it for travel, 2.4 pounds is nothing thickness 0.5 inch and it has these design elements when you turn it around this kind of this rugged design so you don't lose it when you carry it and kind of really works i find the design and the build quality absolutely stunning battery life it comes to 12 hours uh, we came close to that in terms of camera it is only one camera and it's not the most um, groundbreaking camera that only has two megapixel it will do for video calls but it's not really that of a quality that the Surface Pro X has. So you, there are some small trade-offs. In terms of ports, it is really what you see is what you get. You have one USB-C port and that is pretty much for everything. It's for charging, for an external monitor. The screen itself is a 13.3 inch screen, 16 by 9 aspect ratio but what the pixelbook go has what the surface pro x doesn't have is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and for some people that may be important for all you guys who like some numbers on the left hand side surface pro x geekbench 5 result multi-core score 2817 single core 717 right hand side pixelbook go 1233 and single score is 610 and that is with the i7 Typing on both keyboards, it's really a pleasure. And both keyboards are backlit. And let me tell you guys, coming from a MacBook Pro butterfly, yes, the famous butterfly switch keyboard, it is a pleasure on both devices. However, if I had to choose, I would go for the Pixel Book Ghost keyboard. It's just that slightly superior to the Surface Pro X. However, both are really great. 
In terms of pricing, the Surface Pro X comes in at around 1300 US dollars with the configuration shown earlier and that includes the tablet itself, keyboard plus Surface Pen. The Pixelbook Go comes in at around 1400 US dollars with the i7 4K version. In terms of battery life, both performed really well. The Pixelbook Go has a slight advantage here coming to 11 hours and 10 minutes, claiming to have 12 really close. Surface Pro X claims to have 13, we only came to 10 hours and 28 minutes, but both devices perform really well. Both devices are aimed at mobile workers, people on the go, but they have two very different operating systems. We have Chrome OS on one hand, and on the other hand, we have Windows on ARM. They have a limited functionality, yeah. we would say, yeah. but what they do do well, they focus on. Absolutely. You have Chrome OS really heavy in the educational sector in the US. Then you have Windows um, beside Windows on ARM, but that is basically for the corporate sector and productivity sector. The interesting thing, though, is when we looked into these devices and when we use the devices, the Pixelbook Go and the Surface Pro X are kind of cross-functional. You can work on your Excel and Word document on your Pixelbook Go absolutely fine with no issues. And you can work on your Google Doc on the Surface Pro X also on the go because you have LTE. One big difference though, especially when it comes to the educational sector or when it comes to students, you have a tablet with a Surface Pro X that, or you have a device that converts into a tablet. Both have a touch screen, but really for taking notes, that Surface Pro X is probably much better for you Personally, I don't know, I would go, well, I do know, I would go with the Pixelbook Go 4K screen. And I'm in love with that screen and I'm in love with that keyboard after coming from the MacBook Pro Butterfly Switch keyboard. This keyboard is just <laughs> out of this world. <laughs> I do like the tablet side yeah. of the Surface Pro X, but I think I would go with the Pixelbook Go 2. If you go for the Surface Pro X, make sure you get the 16 gigabyte of RAM. That is very important to have that really fluid experience. I still don't have that fluid experience. And when you look at the Geekbench results, the Pixelbook Go is really that much slower, but in real life, that much faster. So thank you for watching. Let us know which one you would choose. Jens here from Allstar Space. Tony the Car Geek. Peace out.